Hello everyone. Uh, you'll probably remember Frank from the test that we did between the 930 and uh, the Lotus. So he was the one that brought the losing car. <laughs> and, uh, and today we're going to go and pick up a, a new a new Porsche that he's bought. Tell me a bit about it, because actually I'm not 100% sure exactly what it is. Yeah, so the, yeah, so the base car is a, is a G-series. Yeah. Um, so that's what people also call an impact bumper car. Yeah. Um, and it was completely stripped back. Um, and the shell was built up by, um, what are they called? Uh, Specialist Cars of Morton. Yeah. And then, uh, so they seam welded it and yeah. then put on all the, um, the, the 74 RSR um, body. Right, that's what I was getting to. So yeah. basically it's an RSR replica, right? Yeah, basically it's an RSR okay. replica. It's a fake, it's a phony. It's a phony, but yeah. it's a really nice car. I've seen it before as well. Yeah. And the guy who did it originally spent an absolute fuckload of money on it. Oh yeah. And literally had it for about a month and then put it for sale, right? Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, he's that kind of guy, though. I think, isn't he? Yeah, I he think just he just does he, projects and then exactly. he, he just sells them once they're done. Yeah, but, absolutely. Um, I mean, the engines, the engine is 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 built by Nick Ford James, so the same guy who did your engine and mine. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's you know a full bespoke engine. Yeah. And that engine's only got four thousand miles on the clock. Yeah. Um, so it literally hasn't been driven much. Um, yeah, but it's, so it's, it's a just, three point. It's a three point five, isn't it? Yeah, so it's Tune a three five. Nick. And so, what's it putting out? Apparently, about three hundred fifty horsepower. Right. Um, and do you know which how much? Which means hundred horsepower per liter, which is a lot. So yeah. effectively, it must have some. I reckon it's got sprint cams in there. Right. It's on PMOs and um, high lift cams and uh, forged rods. So it is. It is pretty much a race. And how, how much does it weigh? I don't know. I'm guessing. It's I, pretty stripped out, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I mean, the, the whole thing is pretty much composite. Apart from the bare shell itself, the inside is stripped out. There's a carpet. Yeah. There's no soundproofing. All right. Um, there's the added weight of the cage that was put in to, to stiffen it up. Yeah. Um, but that's about it. But that's about it. I reckon maybe what? What would you say about 1100, 1200 kilos? Or something like that? No, it must be lighter. You reckon if lighter? G, if it's an impact bumper. Yeah. <coughs> I think impact bumpers only weigh about sort of 1150 don't they or 1200 as standard so a completely stripped out car mind you it's got the bigger wheels wider arches it adds a bit of weight but that's the thing i yeah. one thing i one 1100 thing, i reckon maybe yeah. less i think maybe probably less to be honest that's one thing that I've, i think is going to be interesting because like when i've driven long hoods in the past yeah. um they've had skinny tires and they've been narrow body cars so yeah. they have like a real sudden delicacy i mean a real yeah. beauty sweet spot and i wonder whether this car with the very wide track and yeah. the the very wide rubber is going to feel a little bit more um, a little bit more uh, not it's going to lose some of that delicacy that you get from, uh, from a narrow body car it's going to be totally different man yeah yeah no definitely i, I mean, mean the thing is, is it's be... been set up as, as as a track car it's on yeah. they've they've build changed build. it over to coilovers right i mean what there'll else? be no delicacy whatsoever no what else so what are you going to do with it enjoy the fuck out of it yeah <laughs> Really? Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think you're going to end up driving it that much. Certainly not around London. I think it's going to be a bit of a handful. Yeah, I think so. I think it's 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 a car in my mind that it's just dedicated to just doing one thing. A bit know? of fun. Which is Why are you looking at me with that fucking stupid face? <laughs> I think I'm just um, just finding you very humorous, Charlie. Huh? I think you're just I know very everyone humorous. does. You just it. you just look so at home right now, you know, in your in your plush leather lazy boy oh, and your God, roll don't neck. Start that. Stop. Roll neck and your little white don't, hairs. Don't start that really shit do. again, man. Yeah, yeah. With the lady boys and everything. Oh, we all, know, we we all know that you like a lady boy, <laughs> but it doesn't you don't need to spell it out every lazy single time. Lazy boy with a Z. Yeah, well, but, but we know what you mean when you say lazy boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fucking hell, man. So how's the Lotus telling me about it? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. I mean, the um, it's still working. Yes, um, that was it. But you can feel the heating's working, which is absolute luxury. <laughs> luxury. And honestly, it's amazing what difference something stupid like that makes. And also, the throttle cable has been completely changed, which was a big job. So yeah. normally, they can just change the interior and keep the lining. But in this case, it wasn't good enough, so they replaced the whole thing, which means taking out the centre console and all sorts of stuff. So that's been done, but it makes a huge difference. Do you remember? Yeah, uh, they and one of the yeah, one of the guys who came with me to look at it and to um, to check it out with me. Um, he says he'd like it, but he's got a 308 that he's going to that he's trying to sell. So until he's sold that, so he's going happening. from a 308 to a Lotus as free. He no, likes the challenge, doesn't he? 
<laughs> he's Next he's going to buy an old Skoda, isn't he? <laughs> You're such a twat. Uh, uh. Yeah, you know, that's 
still pretty drivable. Yeah, uh, that's the you thing. know, and good fun, and um, you know, that's the thing. I think good, good, good buy for sure. I think you yeah. did well. I think what's what's interesting is that people get intimidated yeah. when they look at a car. Like that. They're like yeah. it's completely stripped out. It's yeah. raw. It's everything yeah. else. Blah, blah, blah. But actually, at the end of the day, it's just a money. Yeah, no, but me you just too. Just got to be respectful of it. Me so too, actually. When we yeah, drove so off in it, I was like, Jesus, I wonder how Harry's going to find that when you collect it. And then uh, I saw you threw it about straight away, which I was quite surprised about. But as soon as I drove it, I understood why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does make you want to just chuck it about. It's yeah. much friendlier than it looks. Mm -hmm. It looks really daunting, and it sounds bloody daunting as well. Yeah. But actually, really fun, you know, to chuck about. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, we just got that delicacy. I think on that note, we're pretty much done. Yeah, 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 we're, yeah, we're ready to go. And um, just one more thing, I think that we're going to try and do a video with the... Um, comparing your standard 964 RS to my heavily modified uh, Carrera 4 Lightweight, which at that stage will be hopefully a Carrera 2 as well. So it will be an RS versus a modified 964. Thank you. So that should be pretty interesting. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.